Are you getting enough? Enough of what? Hey, I'm Dr. Brian, and today I'm gonna to be talking about something that many people don't get enough of. They just don't know it. So is it vitamin D, C, E, K? Is it zinc, magnesium? No, it's sleep. Do you get enough sleep? And do you get enough quality sleep? Look, I've heard, you know, President Trump and Donald Reagan, they sleep on four, they get four hours of sleep a night. But is that really healthy? No. It's been shown that getting less than your ideal amount of sleep leads to car accidents. Is the, is the cause of strokes during daylight savings. It can cause cancer, Alzheimer's, memory issues, focus issues, immune dysfunction. All these things because we're not getting enough sleep. Sleep is vitally important. This is the time where your body gets to essentially shut down. Shut down and heal. But more importantly, it gets to do things like store memories or work through a very emotional situation. So they did a study with some soldiers, some vets who had experienced some emotional trauma, right? And I don't know what the trauma was in particular. I don't know if it was, you know, seeing uh, another soldier uh, killed in action or whatever it may have been. I don't know. But what they found was if that soldier did not get sleep the night of the event, they struggled with it. And so ultimately they, they had a higher chance of getting PTSD or being diagnosed with PTSD if they did not get a good night's sleep the day of that trauma. So hear that out because that's really important. Because what the brain does is it takes your day and it goes back and forth through your day. But also it takes a look at, it takes a look at scenarios, events that happen. And it strips the emotional part out of it and looks at it through a logical uh, lens. So that's really important. So it takes it, the emotional part, which helps us process it. And so what it's doing is it's kind of separating emotion and logic and viewing it from a solely logical uh, place. And in doing so, it helps us process the event. So we're less likely to have as much, as much emotional baggage and trauma if we get a good night's sleep. And that's really important, don't you think? Because there's a lot that can go on on a day-to-day -day basis, right? We're talking, you know, kids or marriage or work or whatever, and not getting a good night's sleep can not allow us to get over some of this stuff emotionally. And that ultimately impacts us. So start getting your sleep. It's so important, especially with a run like vitamin D, C, E, K, zinc, magnesium, you cannot make up a sleep deficiency. It doesn't work that way. Super Bowl's coming up in a few weeks and you go to your friend's house and you watch the Super Bowl and you stay up until midnight and you get up at four, you don't get to get to make that up. That's, that's lost sleep. And because of that, it's a deficiency that we never can, can balance out again. So it's so important that you get your sleep and don't skip it. All right, so I have a couple tips for you here and I have a bonus one at the end. All right, so tip number one, routine. Okay, so hear me out on this one now. This routine, get up and go to bed the same time every day. The same time, Monday through Sunday, okay? And this routine includes, let's say you do watch the Super Bowl and you stay up till midnight and you are used to getting up at four, you still get up at four. The routine is important for maintaining a good circadian rhythm and keeping us in that rhythm. Number two. All right, so turn down the lights or turn off the lights. You know, back in the day, right? Before electricity was common, and even before that, it was much easier for them to maintain their circadian rhythm, right? Because look, they don't have bright lights. They don't have electricity all the time, whenever they want it. They don't have TVs and phones, right? So their circadian rhythms were much more in sync with what they should be. Ours, on the other hand, we have TVs, phones, lights, electricity, whenever we want it. So try to turn those down about an hour before you go to sleep. Because that's gonna tell the brain that it's getting dark. And when it's getting dark, it helps turn on that circadian rhythm number three. And boy, did this one hit home. So Dr. Brittany was talking to me the other day. She's like, did you know that if you eat a meal right before you go to bed, your body has to break that down? So, hear this out. Whether or not you have to, your body breaks that down, 
or think about this when you go to sleep what happens your muscles relax and what is your your intestinal tract muscle so either it gets broken down or it sits there all night either way you know not getting good sleep because your organs have to work hard or having food just sit there you don't want either right and so it doesn't matter don't eat before you go to bed tip number four all right find a relaxing hobby to do before bed i like to read i enjoyed it, it calms me down i got a little light on my page so i can see it so it can be fairly dark in the background and i have my light it's not the perfect scenario but it's a more ideal scenario so i read dr Brittany does puzzles whatever you find calming Ideally not TV, I get it, Netflix, all that fun stuff. I'm right there with you. I enjoy it, it's a tough habit. I'm not saying I don't ever do it, but look, if you can find something that's relaxing and calming, that helps you out, do that instead. Tip number five, a cool dark room helps you sleep better, wake up more refreshed, and just ultimately feel better. So we have the blackout shades and we keep the temperature in our bedroom a little bit lower. So we open a window, whatever we need to do, so that it's cool and dark, we sleep great. Bonus tip. All right, this is something I learned from a Stanford scientist, and I thought it was really cool. So there's a couple different things that are involved with your circadian rhythm, okay? We naturally have a rhythm, okay? Between 23 and a half and 24 and a half hours, our body is naturally in a, a rhythm, okay? No matter what we do. So it, they did a study with uh, a scientist went into a cave, and he had a natural around 24-hour rhythm, okay? No matter what he did. So light isn't inherently involved with this, but light is very important. Specifically, the blue-yellow wavelengths that you get from the sun. And so, watching the sun rise and watching the sun set are very important for setting a good circadian rhythm. So that's one of the things that you can do to help that. So get up, watch the sun rise, you get those that UV ray length, wavelength that you need. I don't know what they are off the top of my head. And at night, you get the same. And so it helps set your brain into a good circadian rhythm. There's also something that builds up in our brains, a chemical. Guess what interferes with that chemical? Caffeine. So look, caffeine too late in the afternoon, as you know, can inhibit good sleep. Some people can fall asleep with a lot of caffeine, but caffeine has a long half-life, meaning that it gets broken, it's slowly broken or digested in your body. So make sure you also don't have too much caffeine because not only do we need light, but we need that buildup of that chemical in our brain to get a good night's sleep. All right, this is Dr. Ryan with Dallas Energy Chiropractic. Help by choice, not by chance. I hope you like this. Please share it with somebody, tag somebody. Uh, somebody needs to know about this. So I hope you'll do that.